on pageant makeup. I will show you what I'm using and I'll explain why. Um, so we'll get right to it. Um, first, we're going to start with the e.l.f. primer. I like e.l.f. products. They work well, but they're super cheap. The primer helps makeup to stick to the skin. So it'll keep your makeup on all day. Okay, so just going to do one little pump. Put it over the whole face. It feels kind of silicone-y. Okay. Next, going to use a blender and her makeup that uh, matches her face. So I'm going to bring this camera in. Just enough to coat all of it. You want to get under the chin, that way you don't have a line. Very good. Next, I use this on the eyelids. So this is going to help with the eyeshadow sticking to the eyelid so that way it stays. You can even use your finger just to put this on. It's like a putty. And this goes on the entire eye up to under the eyebrow. So the entire eyelid. Zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so I have, <clears throat> this is just a palette. It has nudes and browns in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use a round fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into a color that's um, a neutral color, but one that is um, not too dark, not too light. So I'm going to use this one, this like light brown. And this is going to go on the entire eyelid. All the way up to under the eyebrows. Now I'm going to, you can use the same brush and I'm going to use a little bit of this like glittery type shade. It's got some glitter and it's going to go right under the eyebrow. Just to give her some shimmer. Right under that eyebrow. You can even go into this lighter glitter here. If you're fair toned, the lighter glitter may work a little bit better just to kind of lighten it up. It goes right under the eyebrow. Then what you're gonna do, you can use the same brush again, or I have one that's just a little bit fuller with a darker color. And the darker color is just gonna go in the crease. So any of these color that is darker than the shade that you started with. So I'm just gonna use this real dark one here. And it's just going to go kind of in the corner. And you're going to use a circular motion. That circular motion is going to blend it all together. Okay. 
So again, I'm just going in that crease of where her eye, where it opens up. Now, if you want, you can go with that. It looks really dark on camera, but I promise you in person it's not. You can also lighten it up. You can use go in with a lighter color and kind of close your eye, babe, and kind of go in. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> so here you go. You can go in and just kind of lighten it up on the eyelid itself. So let me zoom in for you here. Close your eyes. So there's three different shades here. Um, you can see, open your eye. Open all the way. Like, look, there you go. So you can see it's just framing her eye a bit. There you go. Then, at that point, what I would probably do is I would finish with your um, eyeliner. I like to use this type of a stick. Um, it's a stick, but it's a it's a wet eyeliner. So I'll just real quick do one eye. Put your head down a little bit. Just kind of start at the inner corner and just go right along the lash line. One eye, close your eye. Second eye. Then if you didn't want to do the eyeliner on the lower lid, you can take an, a sharp angled pencil or uh, brush and just use one of your dark shades in your palette so if you want to just kind of you could dip it in whatever darkest shade you have look up and kind of go right underneath the eye like such. Then I would use a little bit of blush. Again, I have this e.l.f. It's, um, I match it to the color Christine wanted, but it's, you, again, you can even just use your fingers if you wanted. I would, you're gonna start up here by the corner of the eye and kind of drag it almost straight down. And then just kind of blend it in up by the eye, bring it straight down, and we're going to drop the top of that cheekbone. So you can see how it's. <clears throat> and then I always like to take a brush, a bigger brush, and you can even go into that same shimmery color and go right on top the cheek as a highlight Ab above above the pink that you just put on just to give it a little bit of shimmer then i would finish off with your mascara whatever you like to use um, and you can if you wanted to you could finish it off with a setting powder this setting powder um, it's almost like a yellowish color. If I can get it open. So you're just going to take a big brush and you're going to tap over everything that you just did. This is, will set the makeup so that way it's good for all day. You can see... Close your eye. The different shades in the eyebrows, or in the eyelids, all the way up to the eyebrow. You can open your eyes, 
And all she needs to finish this is a bit of mascara.